John Teeter, the time traveler who vanished and reappeared years later. John Titer is a mysterious figure who emerged on the internet in 2000, claiming to be a time traveler. Teeter, stating he came from the year 2036, shared information about remarkable events to occur in the future. He drew attention with his depictions of the future and predictions affecting the world. Though many claims about time travel had surfaced before, few were as popular as John Titor. Teeter didn't try to hide himself or his actions, and he was open about everything except for his physical appearance. He didn't just make occasional comments on time travel forums, but also detailed his life as a time traveler and the technologies he used. Teeter identified himself as an American soldier, stating he served in the 177th Time Reconnaissance Unit, stationed in Tampa, Florida. This unit facilitated time travel in 2036 to retrieve specific items needed from the past. So, why did Teeter return to the year 2000? His arrival in 2000 was described as merely a stopover during his time travel journey to acquire an IBM 5100 computer. After suddenly disappearing, Titor reappeared with ominous messages, and the internet once again became abuzz with this peculiar personality, resurfacing to explain the reasons for his return and his experiences during this time. Teeter rekindled the excitement of his followers and the curious. John Teeter's story is filled with intricate and fascinating details that transcend the boundaries of time. During his journey to Rochester, Minnesota in 1975, he was allegedly tasked with acquiring the IBM 5100, purportedly the first portable computer. The reason behind this mission was that his grandfather was a team member who contributed to the development of this computer. In 2036, an era with far more advanced technologies, one might wonder why there was a need for an old model computer like the IBM 5100. Teeter didn't leave this question unanswered. The purpose was to debug old computer programs, especially those used for critical operations. He stated that the IBM 5100 had the capability to translate between older IBM systems and Unix. It was mentioned that this computer was equipped with certain features not disclosed by the manufacturer, and these features could only be achieved with the IBM 5100. When Teeter returned to his timeline, some IBM engineers confirmed his claims about this computer. The IBM 5100 offered an interface between the computer's ROM outer shell and the hidden 360 emulator. In 2000, Teeter's adventure took an even more intriguing turn. After successfully traveling to 1975 and obtaining the IBM 5100, he made a stopover in 2000, not as part of his official duty, but simply to satisfy his personal curiosity. The Y2K Millennium Bug had gained a mythical status at that time, and Titor, deviating from his crucial mission, decided to witness the real-life effects of the Y2K Bug himself. In faxes sent to Art Bell in 1998, he mentioned the potential problems this bug could cause, but the anticipated major problem didn't materialize. Teeter claimed this was due to the preventive measures he had taken. However, this wasn't the only thing he wanted to observe in 2000. Teeter also planned to visit his family and watch his younger self. This must have been a far more exciting experience than watching video recordings. Teeter's story shows that he wasn't just a time traveler. It also reveals his personal and human side his endeavor to rediscover the connections between the past and the future. The details about John Titor's time machine are filled with features that distinguish him from other time travelers. Titor shared photos of the time vehicle and schematics, including its technical manual, on the internet. This vehicle is identified as the C-2004 Time Displacement Gravity Displacement Machine manufactured by General Electric in 1934. The machine weighs approximately 227 kilograms and was integrated into a 1966 Chevrolet Corvette convertible, indicating that people in 2036 still valued style. Teeter's time machine could visually roam the streets as a Chevrolet Corvette, but this vehicle wouldn't move. It could remain stationary even with the engine off. At some point, the components of the time machine were removed from the Corvette and mounted onto a four-wheel drive pickup truck. The Corvette was sold and there was great curiosity on the internet about who the new owner was and where the vehicle might be. The time machine consists of complex components such as two magnetic housing units containing micro-singularities, 
an electron injection manifold to alter mass and gravity, a cooling and X-ray ventilation system, gravity sensors or variable gravity locks, VGL, four main cesium clocks, and three main computer units. These components operate by drawing energy from two rotating micro singularities, which function like a single rotating ring singularity at high speed. The mass and gravity of the micro singularities are manipulated by injecting electrons onto their surface. This mimics the effects of the Kerr Newman black hole and enables the machine to travel through time. Teeter enters the coordinates into the time machine and the machine initiates an ascension process. The indicators of this process are a flashing light and a sounding alarm. Then, a countdown begins, which could be frightening depending on your perspective. Teeter also described how this process felt to him during his first experience as a time traveler. The operating principle of John Titor's time machine and his experiences during travel are truly filled with intriguing details. Titor mentions that while using the machine, gravity feels twice as strong as normal. And at this point, the machine starts to accelerate. Light begins to bend around the machine. According to Titor, oxygen inside the vehicle can only be provided by compressed air in tubes or oxygen trapped within the vehicle. Regarding the travel speed of the time machine, Teeter stated that it could move forward in time at a rate of 10 years per hour. However, since the machine's location accuracy is at most 60 years, there might be some uncertainties about the final destination. Teeter is hopeful that future engineers will make further improvements in this regard. Teeter claimed that the many worlds theory, also known as the Everett Wheeler model, accurately explains the nature and expectations of time travel. According to this theory, every event with multiple possible outcomes generates every possible outcome, and each possibility creates a new world line or a starting point for a parallel universe. According to Titor, this prevents time travelers from interfering with their own history, because it would change the world and enable access to an infinite number of world lines. However, Teeter seems to have ignored these theoretical risks by visiting his younger self. Like the people of the future, he didn't follow the instructions precisely. During his stopover in 2000, after securing the valuable IBM computer, he made many striking predictions about the future. These predictions unsettled many people. Since Titor technically came from the future, we can consider these predictions as events he experienced. But for people in the early 2000s, these predictions were shocking prophecies. One of them is that South Korea, which will emerge as a world power in 2036, will annex most of China. This suggests a power balance quite different from today, and it might be hard for many people to believe. Titer's story, by presenting fascinating scenarios about time travel and the future, has increased interest in time travel and the theory of parallel universes. While John Teeter's predictions offer striking scenarios about South Korea's future role, similar views from modern-day investor Jim Rogers provide a context suggesting these ideas aren't entirely fictional. Rogers frequently states that South Korea could surpass China, a much larger country in terms of population, and even leave Japan and Germany behind. He also suggests that Japan will experience an economic collapse and its government will become dysfunctional with rising crime rates, advising people to stay away from the country or protect themselves. On the other hand, analyses from financial institutions like Goldman Sachs predict that South Korea will be among the G2 countries in the near future. Teeter's scenario seems to support the idea that Korea will annex Japan seamlessly. However, Teeter's predictions aren't limited to just geopolitical changes. He suggests that a global nuclear war will break out, resulting in the deaths of approximately 3 billion people and causing severe damage to the planet. He claims that as a result of this conflict, the world order will be shaken, national borders will be redrawn, and new political actors will emerge. Painting a particularly pessimistic picture for the U.S., Titer states that a civil war, starting with a Waco-like incident and gradually escalating, will erupt, spreading to urban and rural areas, eventually becoming a harbinger of a larger global conflict. John Titor's predictions, rather than offering definitive forecasts of the future, present possible scenarios and potential dangers. Such predictions can evoke diverse reactions in society, 
being both thought-provoking and controversial. They provide insights into the future while also encouraging serious reflection on the current world order and what lies ahead. John Teeter's predictions detail the geopolitical and societal changes occurring worldwide and those likely to happen in the future. Teeter foresaw the U.S. splitting into five different states along ideological and military power lines. This would create a global model leading other, other nations to suffer similar or worse fates. A period was anticipated where national governments would struggle to control their citizens. Teeter predicted that the U.S. would go to war with Iraq under the claim that the country harbored weapons of mass destruction and ultimately find no such weapons. This indeed came to pass. He also suggested that a conflict involving the use of nuclear weapons would erupt between Israel and surrounding Arab countries. Offering insights into scientific and technological advancements, Teeter stated that CERN was laying the groundwork for time travel research and that the institution had declared the creation of artificial black holes to be possible. It is speculated that CERN's work might have contributed to the development of the time machine that allowed Titor to travel to the past. He predicted the emergence of mad cow disease in the US and the authorities downplaying of the situation, as well as a massive boom in the production of genetically modified foods, leading to severe adverse effects on public health. Depictions of the year 2036 portray a society largely collapsed, with humanity struggling to survive through radical adaptation to environmental changes. He describes an era where technology is extremely widespread and mostly practical, and daily life revolves around an agrarian lifestyle. Titer's predictions painting a picture of a post-apocalyptic world offer a bleak outlook on the future. Such scenarios can trigger serious discussions within society and the scientific community, being both thought-provoking and cautionary. John Titor's descriptions of the year 2036 envision radical changes in healthcare and education to adapt to the evolving needs of society. In healthcare, a decentralized structure has been adopted with large pharmaceutical companies replaced by more local and accessible healthcare practices. People focus on preventing diseases and maintaining their overall health by utilizing both advanced medical practices and traditional home remedies. This approach emphasizes disease prevention and promotes healthy lifestyles. Education has also undergone a transformation, shifting away from the traditional classroom model towards a more personalized and community-based approach. Knowledge and skills are passed down through generations, fostering a sense of shared responsibility for learning and development. This approach highlights the importance of practical skills and adaptability in a world facing significant challenges. Tater's portrayal of 2036 emphasizes the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Despite the collapse of familiar societal structures, communities have found ways to rebuild and thrive. The focus on self-sufficiency, sustainable practices, and community-based learning reflects a renewed appreciation for the interconnectedness of humanity and the natural world. John Titer's story, regardless of its veracity, serves as a powerful reminder of the potential consequences of our choices and the importance of responsible stewardship of our planet. His predictions, whether seen as warnings or glimpses into alternative realities, encourage us to reflect on the present and consider the long-term implications of our actions. The enigmatic nature of John Titor's story continues to captivate and intrigue sparking debate and speculation about the possibilities of time travel and the future of humanity. Whether his predictions prove to be accurate or not, his legacy serves as a testament to the enduring human fascination with the mysteries of time and the boundless possibilities of the universe.